marketing strategies for 2019. Hey guys, Kim here. I'm just actually over here on the Gold Coast. I don't know if you can see the beautiful water there in the background. And I'm here working with a few people, mapping out their first quarter and what marketing is gonna look like for them. Now, a lot of people have been thinking and saying, oh, like, what's marketing gonna be like in 2019? What's all the new things? What's all the things that are gonna work? What's all the, all, all the information that's gonna make this happen, Kim? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And now the biggest and most important thing to remember is that every year, marketing doesn't change that much. What changes your, is your execution of it, right? And what do I mean by that? Well, there's, two, there's, still, two, there's still two key, key, key components that I recommend that everyone should be focusing on as part of their marketing. One of them is their branding and positioning, and the second is their direct response. That is across the board, always the most important thing that you should be focusing on in your marketing. Now, what do I mean by branding and positioning? Well, that's doing video, that's content, that's providing value to your marketplace, and then direct response is still generating those leads, bringing people into your world so they can find out about you. I'll give you guys some really good examples of these as well. We've got some great results that our clients have been doing for this. And a lot of people saying, oh, I can't get leads anymore and Facebook prices are gonna skyrocket. That's not the case. What is going to happen though is competition is going to continue to increase, right? So you need to get better at what you do and you need to make sure that you have a niche that you work with, right? I've spoken about this many, many a time on the videos you guys will see in this channel. Now, I am going to hone in on two key things there. One is niching. Because if you become a celebrity, if you become a mogul in your niche, in the niche that you want to work with, that is gonna make the big difference. That's gonna make a huge difference on what it is and the outcome that you're going to get from that. Right, if you can speak to one particular group of people. And the second part of that, the second part of that is making sure that you consistently generate leads, you consistently bring people into your business, regardless of how well your business is doing or not doing. Because most people wait, this is what I'm gonna be sharing with the guys today, most people wait until it's tough times, right? Until it's hard, until they don't have a good cash flow. When times are good and you've got a good base of clients, that's when you need to increase, that's when you need to spend more, you need to make sure you have a marketing budget and a plan that you adhere to. That's really, really, really important. I'm gonna share with you guys some snippets throughout the day. Maybe we'll jump into the event and I'll show you guys a few things I share about there. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys have that as a key focus for 2019. I'm gonna give you some good examples, show you some of the results we're still generating in 2019 that you can think about, mirror for your business, and ultimately have success. So guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna go jump in now, grab a coffee before the event starts, and I'll speak to you guys in a second. Hey guys, back in the office now. The event was too crazy, too crazy. So I didn't get to film in there and also it was top secret for those guys. But I want to show you this principle behind me here. One of the things that we shared with people on the day, and you can see there you've got the dollars going up and the results for time across this way, right? Now one of the big things to remember, you can see here, like directly above my thumb, when we look at this model, what's the most important thing to realize here is when we look at this line, is that most people, think about marketing when they dip below that line, right? They start to think about marketing when times get tough, when they have a decrease. But like I mentioned before, what that what actually happens when you do that is that you actually restrict the amount of investment that you can make, which means you restrict your level to scale and re-reach those levels. So really what you wanna look at is when your business is peaking, when things are working very well, you should always, always, always have a budget in your marketing for that. You should always have something running, right? You always need to make sure that that's the case. And you know, the only reason we were able to get this two comma club award, we're able to get this uh, sword here, which we were able to generate over $600,000 in sales in a week, was because that when times were good, we always invested in marketing. We have a marketing budget. Right, and in 2019, if you've been flying by the seat of your pants, you haven't got to allocate a budget each and every single week that you want to utilize, you really, 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 really need to do that and focus on that. Why? Because then you alleviate those problems. You alleviate what's happening in those times where times get tough, where things are happening that, that you, uh, <laughs> you don't expect, right? So if you can do that and if you can focus on that, what you'll find is your ability to push through those uh, hard times, those tougher times. Now, what does that mean for you in 2019? Number one, set a budget. Number two, and it should be 10% of revenue approximately, right? 10% of revenue. Now, what you wanna look at is if you aren't spending up to 10% of revenue, maybe try and increase some of your spending. Not just for the purpose, right? But 
I just think that it's very, very, very important for you to be focused on that as a business owner, to be focused on ensuring that when times are good, they keep staying well. And if things drop, they drop to the an appropriate level. They drop to a level where you know things still are above your main point, your set point in your business. So that's what I want for you guys in 2019. Now, to revert back to what we are talking about before, you always want to consistently be building your list, consistently building your database, okay? That is still possible, that is still easy in 2019. So that's your direct response, you're building your leads, you're getting those inquiries coming in, you have to do that. But secondly, you also have to be focusing on that branding and positioning. Because with there's so much competition, there's so much chatter in the marketplace, unless you have something that can cut through, something that's new, that's innovative, if you're the same as many of us where you're doing something similar to other people, you need to be able to cut that out, big X on that, right? You need to be able to cut that out and ensure that what you do cuts through the noise. And you can only do that by becoming a mogul in your industry. So we'll link down in the comments below to the mogul method, our video we recorded just before Christmas to ensure that you guys can get some help with this. Now, I know if you just do those two things, you'll be successful in 2019. Okay, there's no hacks, there's no there's shortcuts, there's no, oh, just do messenger bots or whatever that is, all those things help. But unless you have branding and positioning and you're able to ensure that what you're doing cuts through the noise, everything else doesn't really matter. Right, it's not going to help. It's not going to make a difference. So please, 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 I implore you, just do that. Focus on that, and you will have great success in 2019. Now, guys, as always, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share it with your friends, comment down below, um, let us know what you thought, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Make sure that you get these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, adios.